Hey Dave, come here quick, there's something you gotta see. That man has got a dancing bear tied up to that old tree. And it's dance, dance, Dakota dance, all around the country store. Me and sweet Betty ain't never seen a bear that can dance before. Well, it's a one step, two step, three step, four. Follow Dakota and it dance some more. What's up YouTube? It's your girl the Mac of All Trades and I'm back with another haul video. You guys, we have a trip to the thrift Goodwill outlet haul. So I've done some of these outlet haul videos here on my channel before. For anyone new here on my channel and you do not know what a Goodwill outlet is, so it's kind of confusing. So I didn't realize that products that weren't on actual Goodwill store floors is there as well. So um, first of all, the product, a lot of the products they have are from the original Goodwill stores. So your actual stores. And when that color rotation happens, you know where they do half off certain colors. Um, after that week, they pull the, those colors and then they ship them off to the Goodwill outlet where they get one more hurrah of trying to get bought. So they throw them all in these rolling bins and people just dig through the bins, okay? Um, and then they rotate the bins um, throughout the day. So new bins are constantly coming out. Now the beginning of the week is going to be your best bet for going because as the week tapers off, the less product they have. But um, also there's stuff that has just been donated that's thrown into these bins as well. Like it's still in the bags. Like if somebody were to go and donate a couple of like the garbage size bags full of clothes, they just throw them in there and you have to like open it. Anyway, so yeah, so that's what the Goodwill Outlet does. And then also you pay by the pound. Um, trying to find a cart is hard. Um but yeah you guys it's super fun i wish i could record and stuff in there but you're not allowed to um but you pay by the pound and so it's a dollar 82 per pound of product so you can fill a cart and then you just push the cart onto the scale and it weighs it um or if you don't have a whole lot of products you can find reusable bags or get your own reusable bags whatever and put the product on like a little scale that's on top of the counter. Um, and then that's how you pay. So for my haul, um, I spent $44 on everything that I'm going to show you. Some of the items I've looked up as to how much they would be if I were to buy them like brand new, you guys. Because I think that's kind of fun. And so um, I've got... 34 items in total so when you divide the amount of items you're getting by what you pay it comes out to be like a dollar 29 per item for what I got and so it's a lot of clothing items I didn't go so hard on the household goods because those can be kind of heavy but um I needed to get more flannel shirts for my nomad's daughter pop-up shop that I'm having this weekend for tongi days and so I needed to get some more flannels and that was the whole purpose of going there, but I did find some other things. But let's go ahead and get right into this video and I'll show you guys what I picked up from the Goodwill outlets. Okay, so first things first, you guys, this is gonna be for my pop-up shop um, because I die and distress these items. But um, this is a Wrangler, let's see, size 3XL, like flannel, kind of fleece line sherpa line shirt i looked this up and um normally something like this would be 29.99 on right on ring <laughs> on wrangler's website but you guys i did get that and it's super great condition no holes no rips but so i got that one then um you guys i had never heard of this brand until i got home and big was like that's a good brand it's called orvis and this is a nice thick flannel shirt. This is going to be dyed as well. Um, very fall, but normally online, these would be $89.99. And so I only paid $1.29. What? You guys? And then um, I also picked up this Kansas City Chiefs t-shirt for my mom. My mom makes t-shirt quilts. Um, if you want to look her up on Facebook, it's Sweet Dreams 
memory quilts and she makes quilts out of um t-shirts and so yeah so she's made them for my kids for my nieces my nephews my cousins everybody um and she makes these quilts out of t-shirts so if you like you have a kid or yourself and like you've played a lot of sports or you have a lot of like school shirts from when you went to college or high school or whatever she cuts those all up and makes a really cute quilt out of it so um yeah she does custom orders so um you guys look her up on facebook but um okay then i found this flannel and this one's brand new with the original walmart tag so this was originally at walmart for eight dollars so i went ahead and picked that one up because it's gonna get distressed um <clears throat> then i picked up these gap jeans capris only because they are brand new with the tag so the original gap tags on there these were normally $29.99 but I'm just gonna resell these um next month because we're having um a huge like yard sale or whatever um the whole community here does and it's like our yard sale days so I'm trying to find stuff to put it in there okay then this t-shirt's gonna get dyed and distressed but uh it goes with the aesthetic of the nomad's daughter kind of stuff so i had to pick it up but it just says um you can never have too much sex tools and horsepower it's a big one but yeah that's kind of the aesthetic of the shirts and stuff that i do but um then this one will probably end up being mine but I got this, um, let's see, this size large Adidas sweatshirt. Super cool, you guys. But this um, normally would be like, you know, $39.99 probably, if not more. Okay, then um, I found this Mr. Rogers Neighborhood t-shirt. Now, I know it's stained right there, but I'm going to crop it. And I'm going to dye it and stuff for... <clears throat> tongy days but I thought that was super cool um okay and then I got this flannel this is um redhead brand yeah redhead brand co but nice thick flannel I love the colors very fall and this will get dyed and those are normally like I think 39 or 29 then I also got this Van Halen shirt it also says it down the arm but this will get dyed and distressed so that's kind of the aesthetic that um the clothing I do for my pop-up shops is it's kind of like the band wear the funny t-shirts the you know like just my aesthetic now you guys it's hard not to want to keep this jacket because i looked it up and this jean jacket you guys look how cool the back is and then here's the front but i looked this jean jacket up it's called the brand's called rev reveal or revel and this jacket they still have it on their website it's um 98 dollars but i got it for a dollar 29 you guys that's unreal so yeah, so it's going to be hard not to keep it, but it's supposed to go with, you know, the shirts and stuff. Then I found this really cute rug. <clears throat> I'm probably going to resell this as well. But this is from, look, Pier 1. Somebody tried to sell it already, but Pier 1. And super excellent condition, no stains or anything like that. But um, yeah, I'm probably going to resell that. And it's heavy. That's probably why my price was as high as it was. And so is this one. And then I found this rug. It's kind of like a light tan color. What brand is this? Home Dynamics. Whoever makes that. But um, anyway, this is going to go in the guest bathroom. To go with all the fall decor and stuff like that. Okay. And then... I got this bag. I had to have a bag to throw the stuff in. And so I I got that bag. So that to me that doesn't really count count. 
Okay, then I found two rolls of this burlap ribbon, brand new with the tags. This is originally from Hobby Lobby. They were originally $9.99. So I got those. Then um, there was like this partial of this spooky skull ribbon that I picked up. Then we've got one lone foam pumpkin. Thought he was cute. And then I picked up probably gonna resell this this little Vera Bradley bag but it is in such good condition you guys so I picked that up and then I picked up these two little doilies because I'm going to be doing a little like pumpkin project that I want to put doilies on and then I also picked up this cute little metal bucket this was originally $15.99 at Hobby Lobby and marked down to $3.99, but I got for $1.29, so super awesome. That would be a good trash can. Okay, then, um, let's see, I picked up this little Bath and Body Works soap holder fall one with little glittery pumpkins, and then this little fall candle holder. This was originally $12.50 at Bath and Body Works, but got it for $1.29 at the Google Outlet. Okay, then I got this bigger doily or lace, crocheted lace, because I'm going to be doing a project with that. And then I got this small one. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, and then I picked up this Eddie Bauer flannel that I'm going to be dyeing, you guys. This is like a perfect um, Christmas colorway. And then going to be dying and distressing this shirt it has some kind of anime I don't know nothing about anime my kids watch it so I got that shirt okay then I got this shirt for Carissa but I'm going to crop it she loves crop tops and stuff and distress it and it's a Steelers t-shirt okay then I got this good fellow brand um flannel and this one's really really soft and I'm gonna be dying and doing stuff with that and then let's see oh I got this Chiefs t-shirt for my mom for her quilts so I got her this one and then it also says um where oh Chiefs down the side as well but I got her that and then I got this little it's a size small bodysuit it's like a little bodysuit like a and it has the original tag on there it was originally $22.99 at Forever 21, but it's like the sleeveless kind with like a little turtleneck on there. Also got this jean jacket, which Big thinks I should keep it. <laughs> I'm like, I can't keep everything, but this one's super cool. It's the Wild Fable or whatever brand, which is at Target. And then I also got this silly reusable bag because I had to have something to carry all my stuff in. But yeah, you guys, so there's my Goodwill Outlet haul. Um, after this, I'm going to be working on getting these ready for my pop-up shop, you guys. If you're in the local area of like the Kansas City kind of area, um, downtown Tonganoxie, um, this weekend, the 16th of September is Tonganoxie Days, and I will have a pop-up shop down there where you can buy some of these after I get done doing what I do with them. So, uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. And with all that being said, thank you again for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Me and sweet Betty ain't never seen a bear that can dance before. It's a one step, two step, three step, four. Follow the go to any dance more. Dance, dance, to go to dance all around the country store.